everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another one of my teacher vlogs. So last weekend we actually had our first ASB conference which I think was so, so fun. It's basically where all of um, the ASB classes throughout the district at high school level, they will all go to a venue which ours was at a college. So we went to this college campus and that's where we met up with a lot of students, a lot of little kids. So elementary school students and junior high school students all met us up there. There were like hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of people there. It was so cool and it was just basically um, an event where each ASB class got to teach the younger kids um, what it means to be a leader, how to be a leader, the different components of leadership and ASB classes, which I thought was so cool. Um, we focused on the importance of friendship and coming together and looking out for each other and just making sure that you're there for other people. So we kind of did this little workshop called Walking with Friendship or Walking with Friends. And it was kind of cool because it was a play on words. So we were actually teaching them um, a dance. So the dance is called the Dumas Walker Dance. I personally have never heard of it until my students brought it up and they wanted to teach it. So I Googled it and it was so cool. So we practiced that in our classroom for about a couple weeks maybe two three weeks and then we ended up showing the other kids and it was showtime the kids got to teach all these little kids and it was just so so cool so awesome to see my students really proving you know their leadership and taking initiative and going after like this goal of getting entire classes full of little kids to learn this dance it was so cool so in my class I personally think that the best way to get to know each other is through games. So I have my students do games every Wednesday. Um, we do um, just random little games in here. We do, um, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's like a tic-tac-toe on the floor in tape. So I'll show you what that looks like. We do, um, I forget what they're called, not scavenger hunts, but um, I don't know what they're called. Basically like we're running around the classroom and we're playing tic-tac-toe. Kids are like um, going through the desks here and sometimes I put like a hula hoop right there so they'll cl crawl through the hula hoop. Um, so then they play tic-tac-toe at the end and it's kind of like a race. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah, so we play games a lot in my classroom and the students decided we're going to do something fun and active to get the students to learn to come together and just have fun with it. So we decided to do the dance and they were teaching each other, which was so cool. They were teaching me and then when it was showtime at the field trip, they were teaching these little kids and it was just so heartwarming to see because they were acting like big brothers and big sisters and it was so cool. And one thing that I noticed was a student who um, is one of my kids, he was teaching the kids and he would go through um, like the lines of kids and see if anyone's struggling. And even if a student said, yeah, I get it, he would actually ask them, okay, well show me, like let, let's, see, let's see it. If you got this, let's see it. And that was so good because these kids just like, they shined, they really did. And this particular student was going through all the students and saying, you know, okay, you got this, show me. And then there was one kid who, you know, was a little bit struggling and she's, she was kind of embarrassed. And it turns out that she was actually autistic and he didn't know that. And at the end of the class, she went up to him and gave him the biggest hug and it would just warmed my heart so much because I know that as a teacher you learn a lot about like how to teach specific disabilities and different types of students with different disabilities and all these different things like we learn about autism we learn about um, kids who get seizures we learn about all this diff all this different stuff that affects our students but our students don't learn about it and they don't know about it so just to so just to see like how he's interacting with kids who are autistic, kids who have, um, kids who struggle, and then at the end, just coming in and giving him the giant hug, it just made me feel so good. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna enter a clip right here. I am gonna blur out the faces because they are minor, so apologize for that. Um, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
us at our leadership conference. It was so, so nice. And you know, the students were teaching the other kids what it meant to really be a leader and you know, how can you differentiate the two if you're a leader, if you're not a leader, what are some good things to do if you are a leader, what are some things you shouldn't do as a leader. And um, another moment was another student who, um, she, she, so the kids were in charge of it. The kids were teaching and they were the ones like talking to the students and I was just on, a si on the sidelines. So I was just kind of there. And um, there was one class that was a lot more quiet than the rest. So one of the girls, she asked, okay, so what does it mean to be a leader? And she didn't get a lot of hands up. She didn't get a lot of participation. So she thought so fast on her toes and she just switched it. Okay, well, what are some things that you shouldn't do as a leader? And then she started getting hands up and that like just, ah, uh, they're, they're so good. They really are, they're so good. Um, and then I'm not gonna lie, I cried, like my students made me cry. So the students were kind of up in a line at the front of the classroom and the kids were all in the back, kind of just standing after they learned the dance and we practiced it and we went through it a few times. Um, they were saying, what does it mean to be a leader? You know, what are some things we should do as a leader? Um, these are some things that we did. And they mentioned the fact that I have them writing letters to each other so that they're becoming more uh, close to each other, to their peers, to um, just their classmates and building those bonds and those friendships. And they mentioned the fact that um, basically they have like this group of students in the class and they hang out outside of class they go to Knott's Berry Farm all the time they went to prom together and they hang out all this time and do all these different things and it was so cool because they said you know like if it wasn't for Miss Wiley that's me if it wasn't for Miss Wiley you know we wouldn't have have gotten to know each other that well and we wouldn't have been that close and um, they're just like thanking me and saying like all these nice things and I was like tearing up and I just I started crying I was bawling like a little baby but it was just uh, it was just so heartwarming to hear um, I think as teachers we don't get a lot of like appreciation sometimes especially from other teachers or from other staff but to see that the students themselves are the ones like appreciating it it just it made me tear up and it was so so sweet I absolutely loved it it was such a great time the kids had so much fun too so much fun uh, but yeah give this video a thumbs up like it subscribe if you haven't hit the bell so you get notified every time I make a new post and I will see you next time bye mm -hmm. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while I